Anytime I look at my card and it says, put it to the test, Orden shower, my mind goes a lot of yes. places. And I'm very curious, but we all know there's no shortage of beauty products that claim to make your skin oh so soft. But there's one item that can reportedly give you the smoothest skin ever, and that's where Dr. Orden comes into play. There's a huge fuss about this new product. They claim that this baby right here exfoliates better than a loofah. So let's see if it really works. We're gonna put it to the test. Clearly, it's got some texture to it. Ideal size for getting the full, full effect here, flossing your body. Feels good, I like it. Getting all those dead cells off. I mean, they did say it's good all over. I put it to the test. I'll let you know how the skin feels. I took one for the team. Oh. At least I got some laughs. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, so this thing claimed to create smooth skin. You were rubbing in places where I don't know if you want to be all that smooth, but how, how did well, it work out for important. you? it's important. We talk about exfoliation and, and that turnover of dead skin. We want to get rid of that outer layer to allow the new layers of skin come up. I want you to feel this on your skin. So I think it's pretty abrasive. Yeah, and so I think it's important if you were able to feel it, you'd feel that it's actually quite rough. And so it's So what did you feel like it was a little too rough for you? I think for people that aren't used to this who have sensitive skin, yes, you know, men thicker skin, I, I wanted to give it a pretty good rub but I felt it. Well, the idea is it's actually much thinner. So the difference between a loofah and a traditional washcloth right. and something like this is that you can throw this in the washing machine. You don't necessarily put it in your shower where it can be prone to mildew, it can be prone to bacteria. Jack, I mean, and it dries much more quickly. It's you see how much rougher. I want to try this. I want the pink one though. Okay. <laughs> But I, I would love to give this a whirl. I, I love the idea that it can do a little exfoliating. And the loofah is great, but I do worry that my loofah, it seems like when I'm washing, the soap in there is from probably yesterday. Exactly. As it's much so as I try to drain it out, it gets in there pretty good. And, and you can get bacteria in there too. The thing is, with a loofah, you're usually just hanging it in your and shower. a good old washcloth, this gets it's, funky. Yeah. I mean, if it gets wet and you leave it in the shower, mm -hmm. it. You're not going to like it. You're going to go, oh. Yeah, it stores up. So something like this, and I've noticed a few of these in certain hotels, they'll have either washcloths or these unique things that are a little more abrasive. So nothing wrong with it as long as you don't have overly sensitive skin. Exactly, and that's that's what I think what Dr. Orden was, was alluding to. Just make sure that you are using it in places which do need a little bit of exfoliation, where the skin is a little thicker and a little rougher. Yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch it anymore. I love your eyes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. But, you know, this is not a new product. No. There are similar products out there that you can get Absolutely. at stores. Will you use right. it again? Well, now that I have a couple at home, yeah. <laughs> Now well, the only thing I can say is, Robin, if you're watching, do not use the one that he used. <laughs> Good stuff.